We begin our walk through the African American scientist timeline with our first scientist. His dates are 1731 to 1806. And who is this gentleman? This is Benjamin Banneker. He was an astronomer, a mathematician, an author who constructed America's first functional clock. And he also studied honeybees and other insects. And he was famous for writing almanacs, a lot like Ben Franklin. Okay. Next on our timeline, as you look down the hallway, you see all the timelines. Next, we have our next scientist. He actually rated a postage stamp. He was so famous. His dates are 1864 to 1943. And let's see who that is. And that is George Washington Carver. He was known as the Black Leonardo because he was so brilliant at so many different things. He was a scientist. He was an inventor, an agricultural innovator. He pretty much invented crop rotation. He was an environmentalist, and um, one of the things he did in, in inventing crop rotation was getting people to use, to plant peanut crops because it replenished the soil with nitrogen. And so to get people to plant peanuts, he said, hey, you can use peanuts so many different ways. And so he basically came up with 300 ways to use peanuts. Next on the list is from 1877 to 1963, so we're jumping up in history a bit here. This is Garrett A. Morgan. He was an inventor. His main inventor that most invention that most people are the most familiar with every day is the three-way traffic signal. Before him, they only had red and green. And so when the light would be green and it would turn to red, people wouldn't be ready to stop and they would have accidents. And he says, we need some kind of warning. So he came up with the third color and said, hey, let's have all three colors. He also invented the first gas masks. They used them in World War I to protect themselves. And also firefighters are continuing to use the gas masks that he invented. And he also invented a chemical hair straightener, which many people would thank him for today. Next, after Mr. Morgan, is Alice Ball. Oh look, her name's right there. And she was a chemist. Her dates are 1892 to 1916. You can see she didn't live very long. She was only 23 when she died. She was a chemist and a pharmacist and she found a treatment for leprosy from, uh, she synthesized a chemical from some plants and was able, that was the first time anybody was able to try to cure leprosy. Before that, if you got leprosy, you just died. Um, but she died young in a lab accident. She was doing a demonstration. She was a professor and she accidentally inhaled chlorine gas and it killed her, and which is really sad because she could have come up with so many other inventions, I'm sure. Next, we have another person who's worthy of a postage stamp, Percy LaVon Julian, and his dates are 1899 to 1975. He was a chemist. He invented the aerofoam, which they used to put out fires. Um, they used it particularly in World War II. Um, he was also a pioneer in the synthesis of medicinal drugs from plants. He said, you know, the plants have all these great um, healing properties. Let's make them in the lab. And some of those drugs are cortisone, steroids, and birth control pills. Next, we have another young lady. And this lady is one of our um, hidden um, uh, ladies from the film. Now, her dates are 1910 to 2008. Let's see who this is. This is Dorothy Vaughn. She was a mathematician and a computer scientist. Um, she was known as the human computer at NASA because she could do all the calculations that a computer could do before they actually had computers. She taught herself how to do programming and she was one of the three or four ladies in the Hidden Figures movie. We have several of those ladies here. Next, we move on to 1911 to 1992. So this gentleman had a nice, good, long run. And who is this? This is W. Lincoln Hawkins. He was a polymer chemist, and he was in charge of the plastics department at the Bell Labs. He developed plastic recycling techniques that we still use today. And his big invention was the um, covering for telephone cables and fiber optic cables. Before his covering that he invented, of the polymer that he came up with, they were using chemicals to cover wires that were very dangerous and would deteriorate and um, pollute um, the environment. So we're still using his invention today, which is pretty cool. Next, we move on down, and we've got somebody who's still alive here, Dr. Gladys West. And she was born in 1930. That makes her 90 years old. And Gladys West was a mathematician. And she modeled the shape of the Earth um, all the, in, in great detail. And because she did that, 
um, they were able to develop the GPS system that we use today, the global positioning system. And she's definitely one of the ladies in the Hidden Figures movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Now we move on down. We're coming to the end of our timeline. We got 1932 to 2000. You can see this gentleman's probably a chemist. I wonder why there's so many chemists on my timeline here. <laughs> This is James A. Harris. He was a nuclear chemist and he helped discover two elements, rutherfordium, which is element number 104, and dubnium, which is element 105. That's pretty cool. Here we go. This lady um, died only recently. Her dates are 1933 to 2011. It looks like she's got some kind of circuit board behind her. Let's find out who this is. This is Annie Easley. She was a computer scientist, a mathematician, and a rocket scientist. She was an early coder for Centaur rocket. So she, she basically, uh, you know, coding is a big deal now. This was way back um, when she was doing coding. And her coding enabled them to send the Cassini probe to Saturn. All right, next to last, 1942 to 2019, this lady. Notice we're getting more ladies as we get more towards this present day. Um, this is Patricia Bath. She was an ophthalmologist and an inventor. She was the first female doctor to receive a medical patent, and it was for the laser probe that she did cataract surgery with, and she got that in 1986. And so that made um, cataract surgery much more successful because they could use smaller lasers to do really fine work with people's eyes. Last but not least, maybe you know this lady, and where is she? She's in a space shuttle. This is, she was born in 1956. She's still alive. Let's see who this is. This is Mae Jemison. She's an astronaut, a doctor, and a chemical engineer. She's not an overachiever or anything there. Um, she was the first black woman in space. She was in, in 1992, she was on the space shuttle Endeavor. Um, she has written books. She's also been on um, the TV series Star Trek The Next Generation, and she said she was inspired by Nichelle Nichols as Lieutenant Uhura on the original Star Trek series from the 60s, that she wanted to go into space, and so she did. So, and then we walk on back. You can see as we back, we're going to move back from the present back through the mists of time. We hope you have enjoyed this video tour of black scientists. And uh, there's many, many more people that you should know about, but we couldn't include them all here in the chemistry department over here. Uh, but we wanted to give you a, a little tour and uh, come on down and visit us and see what we got to show you.